Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates. I have my daughter Rihanna in the kitchen today. Hi. Now, I got her in the kitchen. Y'all have been asking me, is there anyone else in my family besides my husband and my son Joseph? Yes, I have a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> you never see her. <laughs> She's a very busy person. All right, so um, I wanted to bring her into a video so that y'all can meet the rest of my family. And I asked her if there was anything she wanted to make, and she said something with s'mores. S'mores. So we've come up with a recipe called S'mores Baked Hand Pies. We've looked up several different recipes for s'mores, and we found that this one was pretty fun to make and looked very delicious. For sure, for sure. All right, so if y'all are ready, we're going to go over everything you're going to need, and then we're going to put this together for you and show you how easy it is. You ready? I'm definitely ready. All right, and you know in my kitchen when I bring a guest in, and they do all the work. Fun. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the ingredients that you're going to need, pre-made pie crust. These come in your refrigerated section of your store, and we just need a double pack here. We got some chocolate chips. We got some graham crackers, marshmallow fluff, butter, some white granulated sugar, and some butter. Oh, I'm sorry. That's why I got her in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Cream cheese, I'm sorry. Cream cheese <laughs> that we've brought to room temperature and we've softened. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing we're gonna work on is our pie dough here. Now what we're gonna do is pull one of them out of the plastic wrap. Now you wanna make sure that you pull this out of your refrigerator about five, six minutes before we want to unroll it, okay? And that will help you unroll it. Now if you pull this out of the refrigerator and start rolling it right away, it's going to tear on you and you don't wanna have that happen. All right, great job. We are going to use a three inch cutter, it's about a, like a biscuit cutter here. You can use the edge of a glass too if it's like three inches in diameter. And we're just going to cut out, we're hoping, about eight circles. And when we cut them out, we're going to go ahead and place them on a sheet pan that's been lined with some parchment paper. Now if you keep the ones that you cut really close together, it'll give you a lot on one sheet, and we're hoping about eight of them will come off of there. There you go. She's a quiet one. <laughs> but while I'm focused on trying not to break things. I know, she's trying to be very, very particular. Get all the way up to the edge there, and there you go. Doing a good job. Thank you. <laughs> I learned from the best. Oh, did y'all hear that? Oh. She's a keeper. <laughs> All right, we're doing good here. Okay, we're gonna start getting the graham cracker crust ready. So I have a pack here of eight. We're gonna add this to a shallow pie dish and we're gonna add a quarter cup of white granulated sugar in here also. So go ahead and do that. Graham crackers are my husband's favorite cracker. I'm telling you in the world. Saving these for this recipe here. <laughs> yep. You have to hide them. Okay, what we're going to do now is have a little fun with these graham crackers. Make sure your hands are clean. Get your kids involved. Get your husband involved. Your wife involved. Anybody. Take your graham crackers and crush them away. All right, I'm going to have Rihanna finish this, and then I'm going to start melting four tablespoons of butter. Okay, what we're going to do is take one of our cutouts. What she's going to do is brush it with some melted butter. Make sure you slather it good. And then you're going to take that, the buttered side, and place it upside down into your graham cracker sugar mixture here and then just press into it so that it grabs a hold of that graham crackers onto that butter there now flip it over and it should look like that there go up to the camera and then what we're going to do is just flip that upside down back onto our pan just like that and we're going to keep going like that 
We got lots of hands going on here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> here, let me uh, turn it that way. There we go. So you only want to do one side and then just flip that back over onto your pan. We're going to finish these eight up and then we're going to be back to show you how to do the filling for our s'mores. Okay, <laughs> we just had fun trying to get marshmallow cream out of the jar. Y'all know how hard that is, right? Anyway, so we actually have half a cup in a medium bowl here. And what we're gonna do is blend that together with two tablespoons of cream cheese. Now, it's really helpful if you like bring that to room temperature, and I mean really soft. If you're just pulling this out of the refrigerator, I would, here you can use a fork now, I would put it in the microwave for just uh, about 10 seconds, 12 seconds, and soften it up by that. We're going to add two tablespoons of white granulated sugar. And then she's going to take her fork here and blend that all together. While she's doing that, I'm going to talk about these chocolate chips. You're going to need about half a cup, and I'm using semi-sweet today because that's what we had in the pantry. How's it going in there? It's going good. Oh, it looks there. really good. Okay, what we're going to do now is add our chocolate chips, and then just mix that in. Okay, that is what the marshmallow cream looks like. All right, I'm going to bring back over here our rounds that had the graham cracker crust on the back side of them. Now what we're going to do is, let's see, our camera person is out today with a pinched nerve, so he's not feeling well today. That's my husband, so we're working the camera. Now what we're going to do is take a, two spoons very helpful if you take two spoons. I'm going to do one and then I'm going to have her do the rest. Put a nice mound on your spoon, about that much there, fill it up. I'm going to take the other spoon and just kind of help put that right in the center of each round. Got it? Got it. I think she does. All right. All right. Fun, huh? Daddy, this is really fun. She, she can't wait for this one. Oh, I love sweets so much. This is so good. These will, I mean, these are just the perfect amount for our family, but let me tell you, she's already got her mind already made up on making more to take to her friends, so. <laughs> now make sure that you don't put it on the edge because we need the edge. There we go. Gotcha. So, because we need to pinch the edges closed. Okay, what I'm going to do is take that graham cracker crust sugar mixture, just a little bit of it, like I've got like half a teaspoon here, and I'm just going to place it right on top of the filling. Just try to keep it off the edges of our pie dough. That's all. I, that way we can seal it pretty good. All right, we're going to set these aside, and we're going to make the tops for these with that other crust. All right, I'm going to have Rihanna finish this one up here. She's going to unroll it, and then she's going to make the eight circles again. Now, make sure that you're using a three-inch for this recipe here for your circles. If you go bigger than that, like if you go to a three-and-a-half or a four-inch, you won't get quite as many from your pie dough unless you roll it out and then do that, but they'll be kind of thin, and I don't know, I've never really tried them thin, so I've done hand pies before, but not the s'more variety, but they're looking really good. I'm pretty excited about this recipe here. I like when my daughter brings me an unusual, different type of recipe that we can work with. It puts me on the same level as her, you know? <laughs> We're doing this recipe together. Spending a lot of time together. Yep. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take one top here. We're going to place it on top of the mixture. Just kind of. And then what Rihanna's going to do is take her fork and we're going to seal all the way around the edges of that. And you don't have to like go in really deep, okay? Just the very tip of the edge. 
push down and just kind of pull downward, okay? Don't pull upward when you're pulling the fork, okay, or to pull the crust off, and you don't want to do that. There you go. And then just keep turning it and keep pressing it. Okay, what we're going to do now, she's going to take the brush and brush a little bit of that melted butter on the top. You want to coat the whole dough, just like that. And then she's just going to take some of that graham cracker crust sugar mixture and just press it right on the top of it and press down there you go and that is it all right we're ready to place these in our oven that's been preheated at 425 degrees for 15 to 17 minutes until they're nice and golden brown now just keep an eye on it before the 15 minute mark just to make sure that your oven you know doesn't overcook that all right we are going to be back and we're going to show you the inside of these. Ready? I'm ready. I'm <laughs> full and ready. She's got to wait 15 minutes though. I'm sad about that. <laughs> okay. All right, so we just pulled these out of the oven. Look at how those look. I'm going to show you the back side, the front side. We're going to cut into this and show you the middle side of this, and then we're going to give it a try for you. All right, we're going to do this one here. All right, that's the top side. There's the back side. Now remember this has the graham cracker butter on the back side also. Nice and crispy on the edges. I'm going to take my knife here. We're going to cut into this. All right, that's the inside. Looks like a s'more, doesn't it? We're going to give it a try. Right, Rihanna? Oh my God, yes. All right, we'll take yours. Mmm. Oh my god. What a fun mini baked hand pie with s'mores flavorings. It is so good. It's so ooey gooey on the inside. Oh my god. Ooey gooey. That's exactly what this is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect little pockets of goodness. Mm. Mm. How many more are you making for your friends? 20. Uh oh, <laughs> we, gotta, we better get busy on that one. <laughs> All right, well, we do thank you for staying and watching our video. I was glad to have Rihanna in the kitchen today. All right, give me a thumbs up, comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. Anything else? I'm glad I can make these with y'all. And share. You know, other people are going to want to make these too. All right. Hey, we will see you on the next episode. Bye.